An admission from the Deputy Secretary of Defense. A foreign intelligence service stole 24,000 files related to new technologies being developed for the Pentagon. And an even bigger admission, this security breach isn't the worst one. Some of the stolen data is mundane. Specifications for small parts of tanks, airplanes, and submarines. But a great deal of it concerns our most sensitive systems. The admission came as the Obama administration unveiled a new policy for dealing with cyber attacks. It includes using active defenses to stop network attacks, protecting the nation's power grid and transportation systems, and giving defense contractors classified intelligence about plots against them. But hackers have been trying to disrupt U.S. government systems for years, including recent attacks on the Central Intelligence Agency website, the U.S. Senate website, and the military contractors Lockheed Martin and Booz Allen Hamilton. And critics say the strategy doesn't have enough bite to counter those types of breaches, much less the ones that could potentially cripple a nation. The policy doesn't really deal with the legal justification for treating attacks on computer networks, public and private, as potential acts of war. Experts say it's high time the U.S. and other countries started thinking about it. The Deputy Secretary of Defense admitted as much. What you're seeing as a general matter is the technology has far outpaced the legal and policy frameworks uh, that we have and that we're really trying to play catch up. Analysts say the new strategy doesn't go far enough to address the threats. This, unfortunately, is a little minimalist in terms of its likelihood of changing the nature of uh, the struggle we're engaged in. But with hackers trying millions of times each day to breach defense networks, the question is, can Washington find the political will to take more aggressive measures to protect its most sensitive secrets before someone tries to steal them? Rosalind Jordan, Al Jazeera, at the Pentagon.